My name is Tesror. I am from class 2A. Today I will tell you the story. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Zoe. Her stepbrother fan enjoyed playing text in Zoe. One day, her stepmother tried logging on to her password, but her password wasn't accepted. Ten! Did you send my password? Ten said, No, Mom, I didn't. Try to see Zoe's password. It worked. Zoe, you never know. You can't use my laptop without permission. And instead of going to Randall's birthday party. And you will do that soon. But, Mom, I didn't. Nothing, Ten. Then he went outside. Randall invited all his friends to his birthday party. He hoped they would come. She was one of his best friends. The next day, her stepmother and stepbrother fan left for Randall's birthday party. Then the doorbell rang. It was Zoe's favorite neighbor, Mrs. Forsena, always poor. Then Mrs. Forsena added, Want to go to the party? And she said, How did you know? Then Mrs. Forsena said, I have few secrets, dear. But the loan, said Zoe, Mrs. Forsena, Brought from his bed a bright red sheep. To do the measurement, this bright red shears moved from 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 middle for hands, and the loan was more than seconds. Zoe's was so thrilled. She got to get her favorite shoe, but her stepbrother friend has hidden them. What will I wear now? David asked. Mrs. Forsena handed her a golden tennis shoes. Then, then she said thank you, and Zoe is Louis think that it was super. On the way to Randall's house, one one shoes of Louis was untied and tumbled onto the street. No, my shoes! Yelled Louis. Mrs. Forster consoled her. Two shoes don't make don't make anything true. Randall beamed when he saw when he saw Randall when he saw Zoe walked into one only shoe. Then he said, Cool, everyone take off one shoe that's like Zoe. Then it was time to cut the cake. The candles was lit before Randall, t uh, Randall blew the candles. Zoe smiled and one of his wishes come true. Bye bye teacher.